It was a real relationship for me. I just happened to have been aired on TV. Ben was the one who eventually, like, won your heart <laughs> in the end. <laughs> what made Ben kind of stand out to you in season four? It was a real turning point. I mean, initially, we, like, we did just get on. I love that he was, I think there's just something about him that just caught me. You're smiling. You can't stop smiling. Just stop. <laughs> I'm happy about dinner tomorrow. I'm looking forward to yeah. spend some time with Benjamin. Going on a date with him and things like that. I felt very close to him very quickly. He was British and he made me laugh and I do like an older guy. And it was like totally real feelings. <laughs> he would like knew what I liked and he made me my food. <laughs> that was a real perk. <laughs> You're like the one who like captured his heart. Emily's got me a little rattled. <laughs> It's weird when you're really living it. It was my real life. There were no kind of feelings about having won him, you know? Like, it was a real relationship for me. It was quite nice. I just happened to have been aired on TV. I don't know if Emily and I are now an item, but my feelings for Emily are absolutely genuine. I really like her. After Below Deck, you went to live with Ben. We stayed together for a good part of, you know, over a year after that. Initially, I wasn't going to, and then I was like, okay, I'll come back for a bit. Emily's got amazing energy. I enjoy her English company. So I went to stay with him and I met his brothers, etc. I didn't go back to working on yachts, but um, Ben and I toured around the States and we'd do private events together. So I'd be his like little sidekick cook, service staff, and then he'd do all the cooking. So it was a lot of fun. What was it like living with Ben? He's a magical human being. It was like a lot of fun, always unexpected um, things coming up. I mean, I loved it. I was back and forth in the UK, but yeah, we were very comfortable living together. But it was exciting because we were traveling around and it was like, we were always on the move. Being in a relationship while the show is airing, how did that impact things, like watching the show together? And it was bloody nerve wracking. It wasn't an easy ride. It is nerve wracking. I hated watching myself back. You really like look into every detail. So I'm glad we had each other. Like, it would have been found very difficult if I was alone through that. Did it have any impact on your relationship? I think it made us stronger. I mean, it definitely caused some niggles and things, like, come up. But as a whole, it made us stronger, probably. <laughs> you guys ultimately decided to break things off. Why didn't things work out between you two? We just grew apart a bit. I was traveling back here and... the there's not a lot for him to come back here for. So we just grew apart and we're still very close now. He's been a huge crutch and support through everything. And like, I'll always love him. When yeah, was the last time you saw Ben? It was after filming his med season and he came to London and he met my mom and my sister. Any hopes of rekindling a relationship in the future between you two? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> I think he's, he's very happy with um, Kira anyway, so that's good. I'm like really, I'm very happy for him. Yeah. Do you have any regrets about getting into re a relationship during Below Deck or, you know, with a fellow crew member? No, I mean, it's not really the done thing, but you can't really change how nature plays its course. <laughs> so, no, I've got no regrets. Did you watch him at all when he returned to Below Deck Med? I didn't, no, I didn't manage to watch him. I saw him afterwards because he came to London. And there was a point when I was going to fly out there for a dinner with him while he was on the show, um, but I didn't in the end. <laughs> no, it wasn't quite the right time to get the phone, um, and like for meeting him, etc. But yeah, another time maybe. <laughs> Kate and I didn't always have the easiest relationship. I suppose our, our characters clash a little bit. It's no bitter feelings now. We've dropped each other the odd message. She's been supportive. Yeah, I wouldn't go out my way to see her as a viewer i thought you guys kind of worked together well during the season was there more like conflict there than we saw it mainly came after the season on the show there were a few things obviously at the end with um when she started flagging things i'd done wrong up um <laughs> so i know it's the last full day of charter season mm -hmm. but this is the toilet paper situation where uh this was in the twin room. This was in starboard forward. This was in port forward. Which caused 
caused a little bit of a rift and then but most after that it was probably post filming when things happened a little bit what happened post filming if you don't mind me I asking won't go, <laughs> I won't go into it because there, there were a few rough waters there <laughs> what do you think is like the secret to working well with Kate Chastain I don't think there is a secret because you don't really ever know what you're going to expect if you can ask Ben what's for dinner so we can get cutlery he won't have a tantrum if you ask him they very much feel like up to now, Kate and I have had a fantastic work relationship. But over the last few days, she's more prickly with me. She's a very clever lady who knows how to do a job and knows the show backwards. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Some crew members thought Captain Lee gave Kate preferential treatment. In your experience... Did you see that? I think that there's some favoritism there over uh, some other crew members. I feel like we get called out on a lot of things and you don't always call Kate out on it. They have a very strong relationship. I got on with Captain Lee. I think like, he, he's fair. Um, he's a fair man, but they are good at working together. So there was no reunion for Below Deck Season 4. I know. I was <laughs> pissed off. It's the most annoying thing because everyone sees a reunion as the place to kind of like get everything out in the open with a mediator and also in a way that, you know, viewers can like really see the real you. And especially with everything that had gone on with like Ben and I and the other, all the other cast members. So I was, I was really annoyed we didn't do it. <laughs> was there anything that happened during your season of Below Deck that you wish cameras didn't capture? The preview bit that came up. When I, did, I didn't know that they could hear what I was saying. I'm not going to repeat the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, my whole family saw it and I was like, Emily. Do you regret doing Below Deck? No, not at all. No. Wouldn't change it for the world. And I think if I do it again, like, I was so young when I did it. You know, I know myself a lot more now and I know my character and I'd like to go on a bit more outgoing and just you know have fun with it because I was so conscious about the job and things when I was on on the show rather than like having fun with everything I wish I'd let myself go a bit more and just really enjoyed the experience rather than being careful with the experience was there anything you learned about yourself from watching the show yeah I, I mean I think I can be very vanilla <laughs> and timid and conscious as a person uh, but also that I'm a hard worker I like saying that I was a hard worker it was interesting watching my character on TV. I was like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> you notice the negative things. So they're the kind of negative things. I'm glad about how, like, I'm quite a kind person, measured thoughts, etc. But yeah. Are you dating anyone right now? Are you in a relationship? <laughs> At the moment, I'm happily single. I'm waiting for like the right person, um, and I'm not like seeking it, but I'm putting myself out there. Let's say that when the right man comes along, I'll know about it. <laughs> I can see a change from um, Below Deck is that you are a brunette now. <laughs> yeah, I was very blonde on the show. I just wanted to grow out my hair naturally. I, I used to have ringlets when I was younger, and I love being blonde, but it killed my hair and it killed my curls. Did you get your teeth done after Below Deck? I've been really bad at wearing them, but I've been getting Invisalign treatment. I mean, it's a long treatment because it's using Invisalign. Um, and I'm on tray 50 now or something. So yeah, I have been getting treatment. Um, but it's not completely finished, but yeah. <laughs> Where in the world are you right now? I am in London. So I moved back here a couple of years ago. Now I'm in the house with my mum and my sister and our two dogs. And um, since I've been back, I set up a food company, which I run with my mum. So we do uh, nutritional food, um, home deliveries and office catering around London. So I help run that, manage that. How does kind of like this, uh, your life now compared to uh, your life in yachting? It was totally different. I went and joined yachts and left the UK. It was after... Um, not going to university and kind of overcoming like, an eating disorder and just some mental health things. So it was a new step in life, having like grown a little platform from below deck and things. I was able to speak about my journey and hopefully like help people. And I've just continued doing that. And then now I'm kind of an ambassador for some mental health organizations. It wasn't ever really planned. It's just transpired that way, which has been nice. And you shared, uh, you know, a very personal uh, story of what you had gone through in the past. Uh, why did you want to open up about that at that time? When I first came off the show, there was a few things that I started doing. And I, I mean, there was a, 
a process to the journey. So I wrote about it and I organized a mental health campaign a couple of years ago. And it's something that's always meant a lot to me. And yachting and below deck really helped me overcome that, to be honest. When it hit October, it just felt like the right time. I was in a different place with my journey with my illness. I think also having lost my father and I felt like I was ready to open up about it. Um, a bit more. There's thousands of comments on the photo. I got like a lot of feedback I didn't expect. I was quite astounded by um, the reception it got and the help it gave people and how many times it was shared. And then also some like below deck family shared it and things, which was just like, yeah, it's always really heartwarming. I'm like proud of where I've got to and I want to be able to show people that anyone can do it. I wanted to talk a bit about your father's passing. 2018 August, we found out that he had um stage four um uh, colon cancer he went in for like some tests because he was having pains and he was misdiagnosed and he went in for a routine operation they found a 15 centimeter tumor so he started um chemotherapy treatment radiation he was in asia at this point because he was out there on work and this is where things went wrong because the tumor perforated and he had to start treatment out there he deteriorated so fast that the repatriation costs were like extortionate. It spread too fast, so it, sadly in February last year, he passed away. So it was after five, six, six months or so. I was out there for, um, for a few months and my sister as well, etc. And then he had a carer out there. I do feel like he's here in spirit and I just, you, you have to speak to them and you have to have hope in that way and I kind of work every day and live every day to make him proud. So it's given me a new sense of like life and motivations.